What was your favorite Atlantic City casino? We all have one. There's that one casino that generates all kinds of nostalgia. Whether it was the old Trump Plaza, which boasted all those Mike Tyson fights, a couple of WrestleManias as well. Or was it the Atlantic City Hilton, also known as the ACH, and then the Atlantic Club? Which one of those old school Atlantic City casinos do you treasure the most? Which one of those old school chandelier hanging, ugly red and yellow carpet bearing, cigarette and cigar laden gambling parlors do you miss the absolute most? I'll tell you this much, there's a couple of them for me. Uh, we got the old Taj Mahal on the boardwalk where I took out my first cash, uh, cash advance. Uh, there's the showboat where my buddy ate like 14 lobster tails at the French Quarter Buffet during an Eagles playoff game. Uh, there's the Trump Plaza uh, where I lost my entire net worth betting the don't pass on an old guy who hit like seven points in a row and then proceeded to berate the dealers and the pit boss while playing. Hell, the Trump Marina was a great time too. Used to gamble there uh, in college. Lots of places. Uh, lots of uh, places that unfortunately don't exist anymore. But man, uh, you know, I'm still kind of a young cat, so I probably don't have as uh, many experiences and memories as you do. Uh, I kind of started gambling there in the early 2000s underage. But uh, I'll tell you what, we lost some good ones. We lost some gems. But please feel free to share your experiences with me right in that comment section below. Uh, one of those defunct casinos that I didn't have a whole lot of experience with was uh, Revel, and man, was that a short-lived project. Uh, beautiful, uh, beautiful building, plenty of space. Didn't play there much, though. Played a good amount of roulette there, and uh, actually did well. But man, they had the hottest croupés, like, ever, man. Just beautiful women. Uh, saw the one dude from the OC Chopper show, The Sun, I think his name was Pauly, or something like that. But uh, I'll tell you what, man, I haven't been there for a few years to Atlantic City, and uh, I've got a lot of war stories from down the shore. You know what? Maybe I'll come out with a few more videos just recapping the old gambling war stories. Uh, I've got plenty of them. And uh, I actually remember going to uh, Borgata on a family trip, which the Borgata is still running. It's still up and running. But uh, anyway, it was a family trip, and uh, one of my buddies came along with us, and uh, he hit for like a couple thousand uh, playing the outside on roulette. He wasn't even betting numbers. He was playing the outside. He was actually betting the dozens. Wasn't even betting the columns. Uh, he was betting the middle third, the second third, like 13 through 24. And I'll tell you what, that cheap bastard refused to pay for gas on the way home. My family ripped him a new one. Uh, we all went down there in a big ass conversion van uh, and burning up all kinds of gas. And that cheap bastard refused to pay for a tank of gas, pressing up the dozens. Unbelievable. But uh, that was the same trip we all took a piss outside the Farley Plaza. On the AC Expressway. Uh, not inside, but outside for whatever reason. But uh, anyway, that's just one of the many tales I can tell of my experiences down in the beautiful, exquisite town of Atlantic City, New Jersey. Once again, let me know your memories, stories, war stories, your favorite casino, anything you got. I love reliving the glory days of old school Atlantic City. So let me know what your favorite casino was that no longer exists down in Atlantic City. All right, folks, I normally do sports predictions. This is just something a little bit different I do. But uh, feel free to check out my sports predictions. I'm not a sports betting expert, nor do I implore you to take any of my picks. Uh, a wise man once said, good ain't free, and free ain't good. But if for some reason you decide to use the free information that is on my program, you're certainly utilizing it at your own discretion. Most importantly, if you bet any of these games, or gamble for that matter, do it safe, do it responsibly, and most important, have fun. For Brock Page Productions, I'm Brock Page. I look forward to hearing from you, and have a positive day.